feel good. Uh, uh, I've been able to practice now full in for a couple days, so it's good. Um, um, it's uh, you know you know preseason you you, you kind of get in the swing of things again. Obviously, uh, uh, as simple as your body getting used to hitting the turf again, getting bruised up, and and uh, so um, all those things have to happen a bit quicker for me now. But uh, still, we have some time, so that's good. So. Uh, um, so far, uh, like I said, I've had I've a, a couple of uh, sessions I've had now with the team full and, and no issues, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, you looked really good out there with, with Brian and Ty. Um, is Ar there any arguable, but... Yeah. Is, there, is there any chance we, we, we see you in the next couple of games in Charleston? Yeah, I think it's, it's the goal. It, the goal is to, to probably get uh, some minutes at the end there of this tournament, um, possibly against Columbus. Um, that would be nice to, to just get some minutes before, obviously, the season starts. But, uh, again, there's, there's, there's no rush because... Uh, for me, it's not beneficial for the team. It wouldn't be beneficial because uh, we're in good hands with Ty um, and the season's so, so long. So, uh, it, you know, uh, coming back for a preseason game, is it really worth it when you have uh, a nine plus plus months to look ahead? Uh, so, uh, um, again, just, just happy being able back, uh, to be back on a pitch and, and just, you know, getting the green light. Uh, you know, it's, it's always, it's, it sucks to be on the outside. And, uh, and watching your teammates train and, and, and not getting the green light uh, when you're itching to get back out there. So I'm just enjoying, enjoying being back out there and, and, and uh, improving fitness, improving touches, and, and overall being comfortable being back on the pitch. Sort of a rare situation for you being able to watch preseason from the sideline. What have you made of the team so far in preseason? Um, so far, so good. You know, I think uh, we have a good mix of, uh, of veterans and, uh, and young, hungry guys. Um, and, and I think that's what's needed. So uh, obviously we've had some some key veterans uh, depart at the end of last year, and it's going to take uh, the current um, a number of veterans to to step up in a in a in a, in a role of, of whether it be leadership or or just overall setting the the tone of, of what's expected to be a sounder. So um, I think we have all that. So that's good. Um, we you know it's uh, I think uh, learning lessons from last year. Uh, uh, I really, uh, I would like for us to have a good start into the season. I think, uh, especially with uh, knowing that we have a target on our back, and then how difficult this it has been for for prior defending champions to to have a good, successful year the following year. Um, it, it would go a long way for us to to really uh, settle down, uh, get a good start, and, and get uh, kick the season off on the right foot. So the season starts in two weeks. How do you do that starting against Houston? How do you start off on the right foot? Um, I think uh, you know it's 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 a mix. It's a mix of. Uh, Realizing that I think teams will, will be gunning for us, but uh, you can look at that as a, oh, oh gosh, we're, we're going to be uh, under fire or you can look at that as a sign of respect that you can take advantage of. Um, that should boost your confidence a little bit. So I think we, we'd rather look at it in that, in, uh, from that angle. Um, be confident in our squad. Um, you know, we've achieved a lot last year. Let, 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 let's back it up. Let's show that you know we, we have the skill in the locker room, um, and take it to teams. Play our game. Um, don't don't be reactionary, but be the ones that are, that are creating the game.